Hi, everybody. Welcome or welcome back to the Teal Pumpkin. Today we are decorating the kitchen for fall. I have been looking forward to this for so long. The kitchen is always my favorite place to decorate. I don't know about you guys. So I'm going to be hanging this new wreath that I purchased from a seller on eBay. This is originally from Target and I'm just going to be hanging it here above my microwave and then I'm going to be taking a pretty light blue ribbon and tying a big bow on it. I have quite a few limelight hydrangea bushes in my backyard and they're still blooming and doing really well out there. So I decided that I wanted to go ahead and trim some so that I could use them in my kitchen for part of my fall decor. You may be wondering why I'm soaking them, but I like to soak any flowers when I first cut them because you never know what kind of critters are hiding inside. Here is some of the decor that I will be using to style this part of my counter. I'm not exactly sure what my colors are for fall this year. I know that sounds crazy because I've decorated almost my entire house. Of course, blue and white are always at the forefront and I always am styling some type of hydrangea, be it uh, a, a live hydrangea or one that has been dried and I like to just incorporate all kind of different things into my style so you will see that I've got different styles here I've got the warm texture of the cutting boards I've got the orange which really pops when you put it with the blue and white and then I just love the look of that yellow and white checkered little vase there. It's not really a vase, it's like a galvanized kind of bucket. And I thought I would bring out my white um, and black striped mixing bowl. It's always fun to change those out for the different seasons. Speaking of textures, I'm going to go in with this marble board here. This was um, bought a few weeks back at Target and I didn't have anything marble in my home and I just thought it might look good styled right beside my cooktop here. So I'm going to be adding my utensil bowl back with my wooden utensils. I do use all of these. I would eventually like to get some that are stained more a darker color, but for now they are just fine. And I have this little rattan pumpkin that was from Target last year. I'm just going to put that right there and then I got those viral little salt and pepper shakers from Target. I just had to get them. They were really a good price and I think they were so cute. And here are those cutting boards that I was talking about. I'm just going to add those to the backsplash just to give it a little warm and just more textured look to the backsplash area. All right, let me know, guys. Are you team candy corn or you are not team candy corn? I actually like candy corn and I don't really eat too much of it, but I always buy it every single year. My kids always say, we don't like candy corn, mom. Why do you buy it? Then my husband winds up eating it or it sits around until probably like Christmas time, but <laughs> 
you know, sometimes candy gets eaten, sometimes it doesn't. But I definitely, just for the whole nostalgic thing, I just wanted to buy it. And I decided that the two bags were definitely not enough, but at $7 for two bags, I decided I would add something in there to kind of make it look a little bit more full. Normally I have this little lamp here. I believe this was from Target a year or so ago. And I'm just going to put those cute little blue and white saucers uh, beneath it just to kind of give it a little bit of height and a little bit of color. I also tied that brown ribbon around the side. But I wanted to tell you about this hack. I can't remember who showed it on their channel. I wish I could remember because I would give them credit. They showed that on some lamps, you can push the cord through that hole and it doesn't have to all be hanging out. And I thought that was so genius. I never knew that. I wish I could remember who that was so I could give her credit, um, but I, I can't remember. I'm so sorry. I just got this beautiful platter. It's so pretty. It's brown and white, and it's got that pretty little scene. And I got the idea to just have it here right by my cooktop. And what I will do is put all of the items that I use on the regular um, when I'm cooking so that I can just grab them and use them. And it's going to look really pretty too. So it will be pretty, but it will have function. I finally decided to take down my pantry sign and I purchased these new plates to me from eBay and I was thinking that it would be really cute to get some brown transferware for fall. Maybe I can find some red transferware for uh, Christmas and Valentine's Day and just try to use things like this that don't scream holiday, but give a slight nod to it. And this is something that I wanted to show you guys. I purchased these from an Etsy seller and I am going to link her shop down below. If you looked at my Instagram this week, you would have seen that I posted um, a question about which was your favorite postcard in my plant and most of you picked the turkey. Here I'm just showing you the postcards that I ordered from her shop and again I will have her shop linked down below. She has really really cute items for sale. I am repurposing this blue and white lamp in here. I'm also going to be using this Better Homes and Gardens tray. And I saw a video of Ann Scarberry's where she had this, I believe it was this um, plate holder. And I had been looking for a plate holder for some 
time. All of the ones that I have are very flimsy and I was looking for one to hold a bunch of plates. I had purchased these brown and white transferware from a seller on eBay and I definitely wanted to showcase them. I'm also using these blue and white Courier and Ives plates as well as these Liberty Blue saucers. And I'm just going to add that rattan pumpkin to the top of it that I purchased from Target last year. But I wanted to uh, give Ann Scarberry credit for this plate holder and you guys go check out her channel. I'll have it linked down below. And I'm going to be adding this brown ribbon to this lamp. You know I love bows and I love to add them to everything. So I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to add the brown or if I wanted to add the light blue, but I went ahead and used the brown and I think it looks great. It brings in that brown from the plates and I think I'm gonna keep it. So on to my eat in kitchen. I picked up this pumpkin patch sign from an Etsy seller. I wish I could remember which Etsy seller it was, but I do not have that information. I picked it up over the summer. And then I'm just gonna be adding this little, um, this is from Hobby Lobby, this little wreath. And it's just gonna add a little pop of color to the door here. And let's go ahead and see how it looks. I'm going to set this to music. I'm going to say goodbye and thank you so much. And I hope to see you back next Wednesday when we do something else fall related.